sure if I'm on. Okay, it's saying live, I think I'm live. I'm having a lot of computer problems, I'm sorry. Let's see. <clears throat> It says live and it's not even showing the right picture, so I can't even see that. I'm hoping that everybody can see me. Doing a sound check and a video check. Can everybody see me and hear me? I've been working on this for like 45 minutes. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been one of those days. Can everybody see me and hear me? Am I still on? Okay. All right, okay, so. <clears throat> All right. Well, we don't, I don't have access to the OBS because for some reason it's still not working. If I'm working, if I'm using anything else, it works. But as soon as I try to use OBS, the sound's not coming through. It's really, really bad. I can't hear anything. I've been testing it. I've unplugged it. I don't know if something happened. I, I don't even know. <clears throat> so hello everybody and welcome back. So today is Monday and we're here to just talk. Talk about everything. Talk about it. Talk about the shit. Talk about it. So Jeannie, hello, hello. Zero, hello. <laughs> uh, Cindy, how you doing? Cumulus, how you doing? Valerie, Brian, Kevin, aloha. Dr. JC's Reviews, Billy Ray, Ricky, how you doing? Moist Monday. Um, Jeannie, yeah, I've been in jail before. It's because you're posting the same thing like multiple times or something. I think it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's whenever they give you the rights back. Uh, Rajan, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm so glad that you can make it. Uh, let's see, Antoinette, welcome back. Uh, Melissa, how you doing, sweetie? Oh, that's okay, no problem. They're not, they're not going anywhere yet. <laughs> um, let's see, yay, okay. Um, Brian, all right. Mel, welcome back, sweetie. Wyatt. Melissa, Elizabeth, how you doing, sweetie? Josh, welcome, welcome. Dark Schneider, sorry, my eyeballs went really bad for a second, and I was like, what is that? <laughs> how you doing, Dark Schneider? Um, Carolyn, welcome back, sweetie. Uh, let's see, Nate, how you doing, sweetheart? Donald, you made it today, and you got the notification, good, because I was actually, I have like a whole bunch of Ones that I'm going to have to delete that I did in private. I don't even know why my lighting is so bad. My lighting is even bad. Like, I don't even get it. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Barely. Um, so, yeah, everything is, like, really shitty today. I, I do apologize. Um, let's see. We had Mel. We had Donald. Um, doo -doo -doo. Alaska, how you doing, sweetheart? Brad's Vapor, good evening, good evening. My sponsor of the Monday Night Livestream. Um, yeah, we talking shit tonight for sure, Ricky. Uh, Bill Parkin, welcome, welcome. Hi, Michelle. Voodoo, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Bienvenido. <laughs> um, it's okay, Jeannie. You don't, we're not going to get mad. When I talk about we're going to be talking shit, we're going to talk the shit together. We're going to talk about what's going on, but we're not going to get... I'm going to try not to get angry because what's the point of getting angry? It's not going to do anybody good. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to try to keep it as a conversation and tell you my feelings. Hi, Terry Smith. How you doing? Brody, welcome, welcome. Jack, Ingrid. Uh, let's see who else we got. Billy Ray. Uh, thank you so much, Dark Snyder. Uh, Lisa Garland, how you doing, sweetie? Exactly, Donald. As long as, I, I mean, everything is like, in my life right now, but I'm here with you guys anyways, no matter what. I'm so sorry that I'm late though. Um, that's too much account. Yeah, I understand that, Jeannie. Nicole, how you doing, sweetheart? Uh, Forrest, welcome, welcome, Forrest. I haven't seen, I don't think I saw you last week, but welcome back, sweetie. Um, yeah, um, well, cumulus. It was my night. They stepped on my toes. I've been on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for going on two years. And then they started doing their live streams at the same time. So I'm guessing I had too many viewers and they wanted some. So they did it at the same time. Kind of don't think that's cool. Feel like they should have actually, you know, done a different time or at least talked to me about it. But they did. They do have it at the same time now. So 
it's okay because my family is here. You guys are the most important to me. I don't care if I have a million views or just 50 views, as long as I have you guys here. Hi, Vape Kid. No se habla, Miami. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, let me see. Chelsea, welcome, sweetie. Vape Kid, welcome. Brody, they shouldn't ban flavors just because some people have been. Yeah, I know. I know about that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, be, no, because of the fact that I was late. I was actually late, Alaska, because I've been trying to work with the audio using the OBS. But I think ever since, I'm not sure if it's from the, from the power outages, the electrical storms or what, but now it's not working when I use OBS. But it works on everything else. So I'm not understanding that. Um, oh, really, Jack Russell? That's awesome. Hi, Natsa. How you doing, sweetie? Um, I see that cumulus. Thank you so much. For everybody that does support me and does come on, even though the others are on, I really do appreciate the support. I re really appreciate you choosing me and choosing to be here with me. I, I look forward to these Monday nights. It's actually like therapy for me as well as getting to talk to you guys. And I miss you guys every single time that I'm not here, you know, during the week and things go on and, you know, no matter how shitty life can be, as long as I have you guys, that's what really, really gets my day going. And it keeps me going every day. So thank you very much for, for you choosing me. Tatum, how are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> it's okay. I get it. Don't worry. I read between the mistypes. Uh, Terry Smith, thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. Uh, math homework for your college classes. Oh, but you got a 92 on your test in cosmetology. Very, very proud of you. Um, good, good luck in the, your classes because that's awesome that you're actually doing that. Um, thank you, Jeannie. I need help with your Pokemon. Yes, I know, Alaska. I know, I know. Uh, let's see, I enjoy being here because, oh, uh, yeah, exactly, Zero. In my chats, you don't have to wear pants. I'm very free-spirited that way. Uh, Andre, how you doing, sweetie? Diane, welcome, welcome. Jack Russell, exactly. Elizabeth, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Carolyn. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> that would be so funny, me reading the dictionary. I should actually do that one time. <laughs> Patty, welcome, sweetie. Hi, Morris. And uh, Darcy, how are you doing, sweetheart? Learning to do nails, too many. Oh, my God, let's not even talk about my nails. I am so pissed off about my nails. You have no idea. I literally, remember I told you these are my nails. I get them covered. Yeah, look at that one. And it's still cracked right here. There's a little bit more. This one's broken. Um, it's cracked. So it's like my nails are, my nails are breaking now because of the shit that they did. I have to find a new nail person for sure, because this lady is literally, I, I pride myself in my nails and yeah, I'm so pissed off about it. And they keep raising my price. Every time that I go, they, they charge me more and they do less and they're breaking and they're either lifting or they're breaking or something's going, I'm really, really mad about it. Hasn't even been two weeks and they're exactly, they're, they're my nails. They're, oh, I'm so mad about it, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Um, your vodka is back. I actually saw it on your table when you were trying to do a juice review. So, Hey, I saw it. Um, Dustin, how you doing, sweetheart? Uh, let's see who else did I miss Brody. There you are. Remember there's all, I'm trying to remember the light Brody, but everything keeps coming at me, but I'm still smiling. I still got to do this. Right. Um, my day was very, very busy, very, very trying, but it is what it is. I, I can't go on too much about that. Very, very upset about what's going on in the U S and of course abroad as well. Oh, stop it. Zero. Um, no, I actually have a light acrylic over them, but what they're doing is that first they were using, I guess, um, um, a different, um, I forget what the thing is that you put on before you put on the acrylic to protect your nails. I guess they, they wasn't good and they were literally lifting off of my real nail. And then this time she made them so paper thin that all my nails are breaking, like every, which is the whole reason why I get them covered. So my nails don't break and they're all breaking. So yeah. 
My whole set has come off. I love your nails. Aw, thank you so much. Jill B, how you doing, sweetie? Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see, Ricky Martin. Oh, shit. Which review was it? LOL. Oh, um, I think it was the one you had. Oh, my God. It was Blueberry. It was Blueberry. It was the one, I think, from Rip Trippers. Which, of course, is going to be Blueberry because it's a Blueberry Custard. But that was the one that I think you were doing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mistaken. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to, I've, I'm scared to do it. I mean, not scared to do it. It's just that I really don't have time. Hi, Karen. How you doing, sweetheart? I don't really have time to do my own DIY, but it's getting down to the wire that they're, yeah, we're going to go over that in a second. Aisa, how are you doing, sweetheart? Natasha, welcome, welcome. Still saying my hellos. Um, let's see. Bye, Brody. You have a nice evening. Uh, I know, Elizabeth. I'm so mad. Like, no, you have no idea. I cannot type with my nails short. I cannot type with them short. So I'm having such a difficult time at work because I'm making so many mistakes because I can't type with them short. I know most people can't type with them long. I can't type with them short. So yeah. So now I'm like, yeah. Hi, Ricky. It's okay. No problem at all. I appreciate you jumping in. It really means a lot to me. It really does. Fabi, how you doing, sweetie? Susan, welcome, welcome. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, Ricky Martin. Uh, am I the only one who is ready for autumn weather? Actually, for the weather, we don't really have it in Florida. But um, I have, for the first time ever, I'm really into the fall season, or at least I'm trying to be really into the fall season. And I redid my living room, like just, I didn't redo my living room. I got a couple knickknacks and I redid the furniture, the where the positioning of the furniture and stuff and opened up my living room. And then I got some cinnamon candles and I really, really like that. And then like, um, like an orange something, I don't know. I just did a little bit to try to give me a little bit more pep and to try to make me feel like I'm in the season. So that did work a little bit. So it's a little something, you know, um, I mean, I'm saying I have to have mine. No, I can't. I can't have them short. You have no idea. You don't know what I'm going through right now. I am. I'm like, like literally miserable. And tonight, what are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome. Jack Russell, Twitter. Oh, I know his Twitter. <laughs> um, No, actually, I don't let them use the sander on mine. My, because these are my nails, I always, I, they never use the sander. They literally just buff them a little bit to put everything because of the fact of that. And when I have them taken off, I always soak. So to take anything off my nails. Oh my gosh. Yeah. South Carolina, I bet. Okay, I love you. Melissa, hey, love. Oh, love you. Thanks for that. Nice. Oh, that's very, very, you're welcome, Melissa. Anything I can help. I, I, I don't remember what it was that I helped you with, but I'm glad that I was able to help you. Um, actually it did cool down. Well, at least it said so on Facebook. <laughs> we don't get color change here either, Susan. So it's like, uh, I don't know. Just put some cinnamon out, you know, cinnamon candles and it's, it's fall. Um, but yeah, uh, let me see. Scare for you during her. Oh my gosh, me too, Antoinette. Thank you so much. And let's see, North Carolina, fairly hot stuff. Yeah, it's still hot here. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Blake, welcome, sweetie. Oh my God, I had a sectional I in the back room because I have two living rooms. In the back living room, I had a sectional and hated it. My daughter ended up moving out of her apartment and she had her furniture. So she took mine and I took hers and I love it so much better because with a sectional, you can only do so much because they're together. And it was a big fat leather one. It was driving me insane. I couldn't do nothing. I could put it on this wall. I could put it on that wall and I couldn't do anything else. And it was really bringing me down. I, I don't like feeling stuck. So yeah. Um, mm. uh, let's see. Ricky Martin. Wendy Vapes is your location, Florida. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alaska. <laughs> yep, I'm in Florida. Um, 10 to 15 years, we'll see what happens. 
Yep, very near the ocean. I'm actually more inward than Brad is. Brad's actually on the outskirts of Florida. Uh, let's see. Addie Tooney, welcome, welcome, sweetie. We definitely got to get together whenever I get some time. Just in case this thing happens, I got to get set up. Uh, so warm her during the day. Okay. So, yeah, what's happening and with the vaping bans, I need everybody, please, 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 if you are not registered to vote, I have links everywhere on my social media. Um, I put it on Twitter. I put it on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, the Facebook group. Please make sure that you're registered to vote. In addition to that, please make sure that you're calling the White House. Um, the numbers are being put in here by Addie. Thank you so much, Addie, for doing that. Um, I've also put some posts out there for um, Florida. Um, I think it was Florida. There was a couple other states that I put out. But Florida right now is definitely thinking about doing the, the flavor ban. So please um, go ahead and call your representatives, um, make some noise because we, we definitely want them to hear us. I'm literally more on Twitter right now with all the vape ban stuff and retweeting and posting a lot on Twitter. Um, that's what I've been doing this week. Again, it's kind of hard because of work and everything else, but I'm managing to repost things in Instagram. I'm trying to do that as well, but it's a lot easier in uh, in Twitter. And I've been doing that and directing it at the president. I'm directing it at the legislators. I'm, I'm just keep fighting. I don't want anybody to give up. Also, if you did not see on my personal Facebook page, as well as in my group, and I think it's also on Brad's page as well. We also have um, the VTA has actually come out and they said what they're doing. So please make sure that you watch that video. It gives me a little bit of hope and that that I really needed because I was definitely down and very grim myself. Um, yeah, exactly, Jack. He's, he's definitely retweeting a lot. We're all trying to put in our part. I'm really, really trying the best that I can do. I've made my phone calls. I've, I've written everybody that I can. I don't stop. I keep doing it. Um, just because you've called once doesn't mean that you can't call again. I don't care what your name is. Just change it. You know what I mean? Hi, Verena. How are you doing? Um, but for Twitter, it's been, for some reason, I don't know what it is. And I've never been this way with Twitter. Twitter has been one of those social media platforms that basically I was just posting my reviews um, or maybe I, you know, comment on somebody else's tweet, but I wasn't really using it to, to the ability, but I am using it now because it, it works. It, it, I feel like it works. You're able to retweet the real information, real facts, factual information, you're able to put in your your um, your um words, how you feel and everything. So I really, really, you know, I just keep up the fight. That's all I'm going to say. I know it looks glim. Trust me, I'm I'm literally freaking out here. Um, a lot of the juice companies that I was actually getting have stopped sending me stuff to do the reviews because of the fact that we don't know what's going on and they're trying to uh, advocate. So this month there will not be a vape tins review um, because they are doing a lot more um, advocating and, and they're really, really busy on that side. So advocacy is very, very important. I've also, um, I also put out a video on my social media, on my, my um, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and on my Facebook group, which shows the differences between what vaping does and what smoking does. It's like a little um, science thing that they did, like a little, I, I know what I'm trying to say, like an experiment. And I've actually put that there so that you can share that with your friends, with your family, even if they don't vape or smoke, we really, really need their support to have as many non-smokers or non-vapers know about these things, I think will really help us in the long run because that, that means not just vapors are, are gonna be you know, fighting the fight, but also our friends and family. Now I'm gonna tell you right now that the majority of your friends are not your friends when it comes to vaping. I have that same issue. Trust me, I have a lot of the same issues. Um, where people are like, oh my God, you're vaping. Or they'll send me something like vaping is bad. And I'm like, yeah, go kill yourself, you know, but I don't mean it. But anyway, I just, I, I know what you're going through and it gets really, really frustrating, but don't worry about it. Just keep fighting, keep spreading the word the best that you can. 
what I've done is I, my pages are, well, except for the group, but my Facebook page is always open. I do not have it as private um, because that way anybody can find the information that I'm putting out there. Um, I, I had to weed through a lot of the personal DMs of things that I didn't want to see, but for a long time, but I don't get those anymore or very, very rarely. So I don't worry about it. So I do keep my, my Facebook public so that anybody can find me. Anybody can get that information. You don't have to friend me just to get the information. You can go ahead and get it right from there. Any of the links or anything like that, please feel free to use them, but please share all the information. I don't care where it is. I don't care with who it is. I don't care if it's at the grocery store, share the message, share, share, share. We need to get as many people as we can behind us. Um, not just vapors, because believe it or not, with all the vapors and the millions of vapors that we have, you know that the millions of vapors aren't going to be um, advocating. They're not going to be doing it because some of them just don't feel like it's their right or, you know, don't feel comfortable doing it or, you know, they've all got their own reason, which I don't, I, I don't hold anybody against that. But you definitely want to advocate yourself. Don't worry about what the next person is doing. Don't worry about, you know, if the next person is not advocating as much as you worry about what your beliefs are, worry about what you want to happen, worry about saving vaping for yourself. If you don't do it for yourself and then for everybody else, then it's not going to happen because a lot of people are thinking for themselves. So you have to advocate for yourself. Think of it and speak of it from the heart. Don't go off half cocked. Don't be cursing people out. Don't be doing all that. Just tell the truth. That's all you have to do. Fight with the truth. The truth is gotta, it's gotta be okay. I hate the fact that we're going through this. I really feel like they should definitely ban cigarette smoking. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Cigar smoking, definitely. De if they banned those and went behind vaping, we would have such a healthier country. I mean, so many people would be able to get the help that they need. It would be so much better. And that I feel like, yes, they should go against, but I don't think that they should go against flavors, especially not flavors. I definitely don't feel that they should be going about, uh, you know, against vaping because vaping saved all our lives. Both, whether they believe it or not, we know the truth. You know what I mean? Hi, Melanie. So I don't want you to get depressed. I don't want you to get mad. I don't want you, I mean, yeah, get mad, but don't get angry at individuals because the majority of individuals out there that are talking shit, basically, don't know, or they're not smokers or not vapors. They have no idea. So when you go against them or you come out out of left field, it makes us look bad as a whole. You have to remember this. If we go off hot half cocked and we go splurting and, you know, threatening people and doing all, it makes us look bad. It really does. It sort of makes us look like addicts and we're, we're not, we're just using the healthier, you know, alternative to smoking. That's what we have to advocate. Okay. So please, please, please. I know it's hard. I, I've, I trust me, I've seen some of the tweets and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go away from that. And look, you know what, I'm going to put up another advocacy uh, tweet. I'm going to, you know, go ahead and make my opinions known. I'm going to go ahead and, and put another picture. I'm going to do a review. Or I'm going to do whatever I can. But when you act crazy, people don't take you seriously. Remember that. Remember that when you act crazy, they're not going to take you seriously. We're not crazy. We're just passionate. So you have to bring out the passion, but keep away the crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you know what I mean, just dial back the crazy a little bit. Okay. That's awesome, Melissa. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm all, and I'm, Addie, it's so funny because I've never used Twitter before. I never really used it. And now I feel like I have like a, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's like my, my sword, if you, if you will, I feel like, you know, it's just, it's good. You know, also you want to make sure that you're registered to vote. It's free register to vote, please register to vote because when it comes time, we want to vote against the people that are against us. Please remember that. So, oh, wow, okay. So Fagan's also gonna be on in 30 minutes. So everybody has now picked my time slot. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna continue to advocate from here. I don't care about that. But um, 
Oh, and it's going to be even more, even better, Susan, the longer that it goes. It really, really does. But I, 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 I want to make sure that people understand that advocating does not mean hate. Advocating does not mean anger. Advocating doesn't mean craziness. Just, I've seen a lot, lot of it out there and you don't want to be that person. How are they going to tell the difference of a true vapor that is, that is passionate about what they're doing, that it's helped them and they're coming at people and acting all insane and shit. So don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Act right. Just state your, your reasons, state your facts, retweet as you want to, you know, uh, do what you can and all that you can do. You know what I mean? But don't act crazy. Please don't act crazy. It really does give us a bad look to be out there like, ah, no, you don't need to do that. To get your point across, you don't need to do that. VTA is out there. Um, other advocacy is out there. I mean, everybody's out there. We're all out there trying to fight the good fight, but we don't have to be angry and crazy at the same time. I mean, we can be angry at what's happening, but don't don't bring it across that way as you're like, you know, attacking people. Um, Beauty and the Vape, welcome, welcome, sweetheart. I haven't seen you in a long time. Exactly, exactly. Acting crazy, it's not going to get you any attention. What that's going to do is it's just going to give a bad, bad, bad feel to vapors in general. Remember that perception is like, it's everything. You can see somebody and just by the first words out of their mouth, you can have your own perception on whether or not you like that person. You want to be likable. You want to be trustworthy. You want somebody to actually talk to you and be able to talk to you or ask questions or open up to you. So you have to, you know what I mean? You, you just, we can't fight acting stupid, you know? And I don't mean that against any one person, please. Hi, Yankee. Yeah, well, uh, we have a right to act crazy in our own indoors, but when we're advocating, it doesn't look make us look good. It really doesn't. Um, I've seen it, and even looking at it, the, I cringe. I literally sit there and go, oh, my God, what are they doing? If I'm doing that, imagine the people that don't know anything. We're trying to get people on our side. We're trying to get people, whether or not they smoke, they don't smoke, they vape, they don't vape. We want a lot of people on our side. This is not just for the vapor. These, this is for potential vapors as well. This is for those smokers out there that don't even know that in a year they want to switch to vaping. We're helping everybody. We're not just helping ourselves that are already converted. You understand? Uh, thank you, Melissa. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Hi, Aaron. I knew there was somebody. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know that somebody else came in. <laughs> so you just want to, you want to be passionate about what you're, you're, you're talking about, but you don't want to act crazy. Nobody wants a crazy person. You don't want crazy Noreen, you know, back over here. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Next tips. Enjoy. Oh, she's asking what she got. Cool. Ah, huh, that's awesome. But um, again, Brett, next rips. I don't. Um, <laughs> I don't have the next. So I can't tell you. But I do have. Oh my god! If you guys, Brad's vapor has these. I know for a fact because I've seen them. This thing right here is like, it goes with me everywhere. No matter what I'm vaping, I bring this with me. This is the RPM forty. Brad's Vapor has coils for it, which by the way, I do have to get some coils from you as well. But Brad's Vapor has this. I absolutely love it. This is my go-to. I just love it. I love everything about it and the colors, everything. Everything about this is great. Yes, exactly, Alaska. Definitely. Twitter is really, really a good platform. It really is. Honestly, Wayne, I'm not tired and sick of these pods. I, I've said it before on a couple of my other live streams, and I also say it on my reviews. This, like, we'll, we'll use this for an example. Before this one, pods to me were like, eh, I can leave them or, you know, take them or leave them. 
when this one came out, it really appealed to me. This was like, it, it was perfect for what I was looking for. The same holds true to people out there that are smoking and looking to convert. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred different pods in there. There could be just one that gets somebody off of smoking. And if I can review that one that gets that person off of smoking, then that's what I'm going to review. So I really don't mind the pods. The closed pod systems are the ones that I'm not too fan about. Um, the ones that you can fill on your own, I think are great. Um, but anything that, that isn't like that, I'm, I'm not really all for, but I really don't mind pods. I don't mind them because there's so many people out there that I know that have switched to, to vaping because a pod came out and I have that as a fact. So hi peanut. So being that I've seen it firsthand, I don't mind doing the reviews for pods. I really don't. I wish there weren't so many and then we have other things in between, but I don't mind doing them. If I can get one person off that, that works for me. Yeah, you grabbed the Orion. Hi, Edward. All right, I have to see what you got. <laughs> That's so funny, Brad. Oh my God, I didn't even get to check my instant messages. So for tonight's giveaway, it's gonna be an RPM 40 from Brad's Vapor. Thank you again, Brad, for um, sponsoring my Monday night live streams. I really, really appreciate it. So if you are in the United States at about 8.45, we'll go ahead and do the giveaway for the RPM 40. I absolutely love this thing. I'm telling you right now, absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen my uh, review for it, go ahead and check it out. You'll see all about it. Absolutely amazing uh, pod vape. For me, it's more of an all-in-one. It's not really a pod style vape in my opinion. It's definitely more of like an all-in-one device, sort of like when the, um, oh my God, what was it called? Oh my God, what was it called? I know what I'm trying to say. It was a little box and it had the, the liquid in it. I forget what it's called, but anyway, just like that. So this is very, very similar to that, except for you don't have to worry about a battery. You charge it and you go, and this lasts me a couple of days. So really, really awesome. So definitely. And if you just want to get something like this, or you want to look at something else, please go to bradsvapor.com. Use the code WendyVapes10. You get 10% off of anything on the website, whether or not it's new or old, you're still going to get 10% off. So, um, yeah, no, there's no auto draw on the RPM, but I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this. The any box. Thank you. I knew somebody would mention it. Christine got it. The any box or me box or whatever you want to call it. That one right there was one of my favorite little all-in-one kits. Very, very compact. Took, took, took it with me everywhere. Very, very simple. The liquid went in. It held like 10 mils of e-liquid. Um, and it was just something compact to run with. This reminds me of it. It's like an all-in-one to me. The only difference is, is you don't have a huge juice capacity, but still having like a 4.3 or 4.5 milliliter juice capacity is amazing. I have mine too, Christine, but it leaks. And I know that was a problem back then. I tried the O-ring thing, but it's still leaking. Absolutely love this thing though. So please be, be sure if you're in the U.S., to go ahead and um and um get involved in the giveaway at 845. Yes, I that's why I bought it because she was so obsessed with it, Aaron, that I had to have it. I had to. I never used citrus juices in mine, but it just started leaking one day and it never stopped. So it's yeah. Uh let me see. Okay. Uh, but let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I know there was some questions and now I forgot what it was. Um, it's going to have, I don't, I haven't, did I say it? Yes. The RPM comes with like six. I'm trying to remember my, when I looked it up, it has six coils and an RBA base coming for it as well. So yes. Um, for the giveaway at 845, I'm going to actually tell you at the time, it's going to be random numbers. I'll tell you start and stop. And then I'll, I'll have a number and the first one that gets the number or the first one closest to the number actually gets the um, giveaway. Nine one one's supposed to be coming out, coming back 
if I'm not mistaken. I can't wait. No problem, Linda. You're never late. You're always on time for me. For me, you're always on time. Sorry, doing a deal. No, just kidding. <laughs> and I don't even know what color that the um, next comes in. Just pick a pretty color for me, Brent. Pinks and purples are my favorites, <laughs> or rainbows. Pinks, purples, or rainbows. Those are the ones, you know? Um, red, black, or white. Red. We'll do red. So Linda, welcome, welcome. Let me see. Bonnie Green is here. How you doing, sweetie? Yeah, it is on. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to watch it tonight. There's no way. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let me see. Uh, sorry, you got to run. That's okay, Rajan. I totally get it. Thank you so much. I love you. Thanks so much for being here. Um, Oh, no, no, no. It's okay, Brad. They were just going on conversating anyway. Half the time I like try to check on everybody and they're talking amongst themselves. So it works for me. As long as we can all work together and we talk together, I absolutely love that. Hi, Jessica B. Welcome, welcome, sweetie. I love you too, Destin. Thank you so much. Oh, definitely, Morris. Definitely. Vaping is definitely better than soda and soda is not good for you. I don't know. You know what's funny about that, Jeannie? This is us. I actually watched, I want to say the first season and the second season, and then I couldn't turn it on again. I was, I don't know. I, I get really bored very quickly. I really do. But yeah. Okay, go ahead and do that, Bonnie. It's very important. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Now, I did watch, there's something on Netflix. It was um. unbelievable. It's a short, it's not, it's only, I think it's only one whole season, but it was so good. I actually like couldn't sleep. So I watched it. Very, very good. Very, very good. So try that one. It's actually a Netflix original. I think it is. <laughs> right, Chelsea? <laughs> yes, yes. When do you know if you're going to get the Age of Sex? I have no idea, Nicole. Um, Anything from Geek Vape, it's really hard for me to get. Um, I, I don't usually get Geek Vape, so I don't know. Melanie, love this. Is a, I haven't seen a million little things. And love. I really did like This Is Us. At the beginning, I was telling my daughter, I was like, oh, my God, you got to see this. And I don't know. I just got really just, I don't know. I, I got to try to get back into it, though. <laughs> so funny, Mel. Always, Peanut. Always. Hi, Abby. Welcome, sweetheart. Oh, my God. Good Doctor is coming back, too. I just saw that today. Really, really awesome. Really, really. The Good Doctor is really, really good. I really like that. This Is Us is all. <laughs> Just watched that today. You did watch it, Jill? Oh my God, wasn't it good? I don't know. I don't know. Yep, New Amsterdam, baby. That's right, Jeannie. I don't watch TV. I binge watch like a couple shows at a time and that's it. And that's a few days a week. A million little things. I'm not, I don't know what that, what's that one about? <laughs> I finally finished um oh my god what was the name of it uh, come on with Frank in it what was the name of it um oh my god it starts with a shameless I finally finished that believe it or not I finished shameless and I was sad at the ending I was really sad at the ending so I'm hoping that it comes back but then again it's like oh, I don't know but yeah I do it to try to clear my mind because my mind races a lot. And the only way that I can do it is that my coils, I'm using the arc 
PM coils for us. That to me, those to me are the best. I actually have the other one. I do um, go back and forth on it. So I'll trade out this one and this one, but I'm gonna tell you the best e-liquid for this device, the best. Battle service. I cannot stop the, and I'm, I'm like halfway done. I'm so mad. Um, I need to get more. Bottle service. This is the strawberry champagne of the RKOI that I absolutely love, but it's got ice. So it's got the, the cooling effect. It is so perfect in here. It tastes even better in here. Oh my God. I love it. I absolutely love it. You have this, this is going with me everywhere. So my daughter came over. She had actually my, you know, the angry one that we talk about all the time. So she came over and she had gotten one of these because I kept telling her, oh my God, you got to go and get one. So she got one of these. And when she tried this, cause she didn't know how to put it together. So she brought it here because that's what my kids do. Instead of watching my reviews, which I always tell them go watch my review, but okay. So she came over and I put this in and she drove all the way back to fill it up. It's that good. And she does not like anything that's menthol. She doesn't like anything that's got ice in it. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I promise you. And this you get at coilspill.com. Use the code WendyVapes1 and you get 20% off and free shipping. This is called bottle service. Oh my God, it's so good. Yum. Hi, Mary. Tatum, how are you doing? Yes, it is the best thing ever for sure. For sure. Um, let me see. Let me see. Think the box is gonna be great. Uh, talking about TV shows and Bay's best thing ever. Tatum Adams. Yeah. Uh huh. Mass Singer. I've never seen. Nine one one is very very nice. I like that one. Ah, thank you, Peanut. Frank. Eh, Frank is just. I don't know. You ha you can't hate them because let me tell you something. For somebody who's never had a job other than for like a day, he's 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 coming to money all the time. I wish that I had his enthusiasm. Hi, Freebird. I wish I had the the the, the I don't even know the freaking I don't know the way that he does things. I think is amazing. Yes, yes, VTA just got a whole bunch of different donations plus board members and everything. I think I'm running, yeah, I need to charge this. Yeah, I literally run this down to the ground. I know I'm not supposed to, but I can't help it. The only thing that I would change, if I could change anything, but it doesn't bother me because it doesn't leak, would be the placement of the USB. That's the only thing that really like, eh, but it doesn't bother me at all. Exactly, Valerie. We're talking about Shameless. We're talking about 911. We're talking about little something. What was the little something about? Um, I was actually a menthol smoker before I switched to vaping and I stayed away from menthol for the first, I wanna say three years. And there's only certain flavors that I really like that have the menthol. One of them is gonna be this one here which is the, um, I try to save it because I don't wanna use it all smoothie. This one here, it's a watermelon, I mean a strawberry raspberry apples, but on ice, absolutely amazing in a pod. I love this. This I actually have in here, um, which I carry with me. And then this one here is my, for some reason with the pods, it just, it makes everything taste better. And then I have this in like a lot of them. This is called Bottle Service and it's by coilspill.com. Use Wendy Vapes 1, you get 20% off and free shipping. Straight menthol, I really don't like, Jessica, but something like that, like if you like fruit flavors, I would definitely, definitely go for this or even the smoothie. Um, I don't think I have a coupon code for this. I would have to look it up, but I don't think I do. Well, let me look it up while I'm saying, I don't know, I have to look it up. Like, duh. Uh, let me see. Because I try to put them in my contacts so I don't forget because I've got so many different ones. Smoothie. No, I don't have a coupon code for smoothie. But um, yeah, I did do the review. And in the review, I tell you at the end, if there is any coupon code, I'll tell you at the end. 
I'll say it out. So if you want to just fast forward to the end, you can. But on the smoothie, there was actually two. The second one, I think, was the ice flavors, if I'm not mistaken. But oh my God, so, so good, I promise you. And this one, oh, yum, yum. Those are the two that I'm using. Hi, Jordan. Welcome, sweetheart. Hi, Ken. Right. That was crazy. Yeah, I posted on Twitter. Somebody had posted in Michigan that there has been, in the year 2018, 144 uh, teen deaths due to alcohol. Yeah. 144 in one state in one year. That's a lot. Hi, Becca. Welcome, welcome, sweetie. I don't have stars. I just have regular, like, I've got Redbox, uh, not Redbox, Redbox. I've got um, Netflix, I've got Hulu, and that's pretty much it. I am borrowing somebody's um, cable login to watch MTV too. And I thought there was something else, but I think that's it, just MTV. Right now, Bonnie, I don't have any sad boy liquids unless they're given to me. I cannot afford to purchase them. So if I do receive any, then I would be glad to. Um, but I haven't received any. And right now we're on the cuff of possibly having a flavor ban in Florida. So I, I do have some reviews that I do have to get out before any of that stuff goes down. Hopefully it doesn't go down. Because if it does go down, I'm going to be telling everybody how to DIY. Let me tell you. I will get into that shit quick. You have no idea. I already messaged Addie. I was like, Addie, yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to get together. We're definitely going to. Hi, Megan. How you doing, sweetheart? Because I'm not doing without flavors. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think Kim's in here too. Hi, Kim. There's Kim. How you doing, Kim? Gravity Vapes, how you doing? Can you imagine if I went out and bought all these e-liquids? There's no way I can afford that. I don't even get paid for my reviews. So no, sorry. Yeah, you too, Ricky. Don't worry. I've got like, I trust me, I've got fingers out there that I'm I'm definitely, you know. I would think that we could only because if they change the the from name, like the company name, maybe, because the, because it has the word vape in it, because that one's coming from um um oh my god a1 vape i think it is so yeah we would have to change the name but i'm hoping that we can still get those um as far as i know as long as there's nothing against any type of um e-liquid um bands or anything like that in your state it ships worldwide ah oh, it's going it's going gravity just just fighting the fight that's what i'm doing every single day as soon as i wake up Ah, thank you, Becca. I'm going to, like I said, I really don't have the time to do DIY, but if I had to, I would share my experience. I'm not going to be a, a professional DIYer right from the get, um, because I would be learning, but I'll definitely have like people on and we're going to, you know, figure it out together because I'm, I'm not going to do without, I can't, I can't do without flavors. There's no way. So yeah, you de I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, there's also a couple uh, YouTubers. Um, Addy, if you can put the, um, you know who I'm talking about. I can't, my mind is blank right now, but please put him out there for me um, regarding um, the e-liquids. Yeah, I know it's not hard. It's that I'm very picky. <laughs> I'm very picky, Bonnie, and I'm a perfectionist. So I hate messing up anything. And it's really, you know, there you go. Fresh. Thank you so much. Yeah. So there's Fresh's link. You can check them out. I know. I know, Knoxville. I'm I'm really excited. Um, if that comes to pass, I'm going to take the high road and, and get excited about that. Um, but for now, I'm really, you know, I love sharing the different flavors out there with, with my viewers. I love being able to, you know, get out there and, you know, there's so many people that like different flavors and I like to do that, you know? Yes, I am. I am very much so peanut. Yeah. DIY or die on YouTube. Yes. Them too. If you could put that link out there too, Addie. 
Um, Samantha, how are you doing, sweetie? Thank you. Um, I'm just so picky. I really am. For things that I will vape all the time, I'm really, really um, picky. Yeah, me too, Antoinette. So just keep watching because um, if they flavor ban, that's going to be purchasing. It's not going to be making it. So I'm going to go that route. Worst case scenario. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get up the money and I'm going to have to do that. So, ah, uh, that's a good plus peanut. I'd have to see your toes though. <laughs> Hi, CS below. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Don't give up flavors. Don't give them up. Exactly. Patty. <clears throat> and yes, I'm doing just water tonight. There's Shane. How you doing, sweetie? No problem at all, Shane. I totally understand. I'm here for you if you need me, just like you are for me. Um, yes, exactly, Mel. So just everybody, please, 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 I'm begging you, make sure that you're registered to vote. The reason why I say make sure that you're registered for vote to vote is because if they see a mass outburst of people registering to vote, I'm hoping it's going to make them wonder like, oh, shit, you know what I mean? And start thinking about things. So please make sure that you're registered to vote. If you're not, it's free. Go ahead and register to vote because we're going to vote out the people that are voting out vaping. You know what I mean? I know, Jessica, they took the wrong story. They took a partial story that was half untrue and they ran with it and everybody kept getting soaked into it. I'm really, really just upset about that. Yeah, exactly. It's the homework time that I don't have to skippy, but I know that so many people are out there to help me. Like I said, Ricky's there to help me. Zero's there to help me. Addie's there to help me. I'm sure that Fresh would have no problem helping me. Um, also, um, um, Oh my God, I want to call her Cecil and I know what her name is. Oh my God. I'm so mad right now. I cannot believe that I can't remember. Cecile, there to help me. I know that there's a lot of people out there to help me. And so I'm, I'm not stressing it as of yet. Do I want the flavor band to go through? No, I don't want it to go through. I'm going to do everything I can to vape and to fight. Awesome, Freebird. Thank you. But, you know, I mean, I'm going to keep going. Until they tell me I cannot, then I will keep going. But when they tell me I cannot, I'm switching it. I'm telling you right now. Definitely, Jessica. Thank you so much. Query your vape, Cecile. Yep. I just, I don't, I call her Cecile because I don't really call her query your vape but i do on instagram it's so funny what it depends on where i am but i've got so much stuff in my brain right now that it's like making me not be able to speak right i'm just so upset about it all oh i know instead of doing away with cigarettes the one thing that we know for a fact that is killing people we know there is a fact. It's been killing people for years. And what's the funniest part about this whole thing, and I've also tweet, tweeted it, I'm pretty sure. We all, well, not all, I don't want to put everybody in the same category, but the majority of us did start smoking cigarettes before the age of 20. A lot of us started even lower than that. We were literally teens, like just out of starting to be teens. So, you know, it's, it's, it kills me that, you know, they're all against teens vaping, but they didn't care about teens smoking because they didn't take those off the shelf. You know what I mean? So no, no, I just, I don't, and being a teenager, you're going to do what you're going to do. But if we have a healthier alternative, they would actually never smoke. Hi, Liam. Welcome, welcome, sweetie. No problem at all. No problem at all. So, you know what I mean? And look at everybody that was young. Look at everybody that was, that were teenagers. I mean, the majority of us, start, we got hooked by being teenagers. So 
It just doesn't make sense. It really, really doesn't. It doesn't make sense that you're you're going to fight something that is less harmful and you're going to promote something that's more harmful. Happy birthday! Liam, did you say it was your birthday? Because I know that Dee Burns said it's his birthday too. Um, so happy birthday to everybody. Hello, fucker. How are you? Exactly. Exactly. It's not about flavors. or You know, I even made a post and I said, um, you know, this is what, I, what what's really, really funny to me. They call it juuling because all the teens that they're catching or the majority, like 95% of the teens that they're catching are juuling, what they call juuling. They all have a jewel. So there's a couple of funny parts about that. First off is that I found out that um, Philip Morris actually owned Jewel before the company that owns them now. So they went out and they actually promoted it to teens. Second of all, the flavors on those things are so nasty compared to real e-liquid. So if it's all about flavors, they're not doing it for flavors. They're doing it for the Nikkei because it's a higher milligram nicotine. Reduce the nicotine, make a max, just like they did in the UK, make a max of nicotine, do away with cigarettes and save everybody's lives. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, exactly. Closed pods, ban them. But then again, weren't they taking the blank uh, pod cartridges and filling them with the THC. As far as I know, that's what they were doing. So I don't know. I don't know. Those types, I think the higher milligram things should have gone away. So it's just bullshit. I just think all around. Yeah, exactly. Right, Valerie. That's what I'm talking about. So bye, Antoinette. Thank you so much for being here, hon. I love you. Yeah, they're doing it for the buzz. So just take away the higher nicotine. They're not going to get a buzz. Duh. That's it. Which if you've ever watched me at all, you know that I don't, I don't think that anybody needs 50 milligrams. I don't think that anybody needs 35 milligrams. I'm sorry. All of us that vaped, <laughs> I think the highest we had was 24. If I'm not mistaken, from the time that we started vaping, I think the highest was 24, maybe 36. But I mean, we never went up to 50. I mean, get the hell out of here. That's 5%. That's a full 5%. That's crazy. That, that's unnecessary. 50 is unnecessary. It is stupid unnecessary. When they came out with that, I was like, are you kidding me? People don't need it that much. And then if you use it in the wrong device, you're getting yourself sick. Now, I can see some people getting sick off of the nicotine if say for instance they have a nick salt that is a higher milligram nicotine and they're vaping it in the wrong device they can get sick and i think i've warned you guys about that before that's why like for something like this for like my rpm i won't use a salt nick in that i literally even with the 0.6 ohm coil would not use a salt nick in it use a higher milligram regular um e-liquid but don't use a salt nick a lot of people are using these salt nicks for devices that are not ready for them and it's going to get them sick. That will cause a lot of people to get sick. So like, say for instance, if you do three milligrams of nicotine in a pod device, you could probably go for six. You know what I mean? So we don't want to, I, I don't, I don't know. That's just my spiel on it. Everybody has their own you know, devices to go to, they know what they want to do, but I really don't think salt Nick was the answer. Um, I feel like we should have just went from regular e-liquid to higher milligram, regular e-liquid for our devices. Um, and maybe just a different, you know, VGPG and having them like that, having these salt Nicks with so much, because the thing is, salt Nick is so smooth that you're not going to know that you're nicked out until it's too late. So I feel like, you know, that's just, I think that they should just do away with it. Do away with salt, Nick, and do away with higher milligrams. Stop at 20 milligrams. That's what, that's my opinion. You want to know my honest opinion? That's my opinion. That and do away with cigarettes. Exactly. I don't feel, I don't see, 
I know the feeling of a six milligram nicotine on my throat and to see somebody vaping a 24 makes me choke. Like, you know what I mean? So no. And I think that they should um, definitely increase the aging for the ages from smoking for smoking and vaping to 21. I do believe that as well. Why are you getting attacked? You're not going to get, you're not going to be on the news knocks out. You're going to call me and you're going to be like, Wendy, I feel bad. And I'm going to be like, all right, let's calm down. But you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it, there's so many ways to fix this that without banning flavors, there are so many ways. Yes, exactly. Jessica, I, I, I don't know if you've been here. I know Nicole has been in here. I know that the majority of everybody that's in my regular chats has heard me say, you can get sick from a higher nicotine, especially if you're using it in the wrong device. Even in a pod system, for me, if it's too much, a 50, I can't do it. I can't. And I've been vaping for years. I mean, it's just, I think that that right when they started making the salt nick, we were all gone. Yeah, dark. I think that that's true. I think that's true. I mean, it's your choice. If you want to quit smoking, then you can go to vaping, but leave it as an alternative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, it's just, hi, Queen C. Sorry about that. Yeah, exactly. So you might want something like a 1.5 if they have, you know, depending on where you're getting your e-liquid, sometimes I'll have a 1.5 or you can mix a zero and a three and it makes it a 1.5. Yeah, I know, but it's also, it, I'm telling you, you know how right now they're saying with the amount of, of um, people that have been sick, I really think that it's from the higher nicotine. I really, really think so. There are some that, yes, it's the THC, but then there's some that they're saying that they weren't vaping THC. And I guarantee you it was from a higher milligram nicotine in a device that it wasn't meant for. I promise you. Watch it come out. I'm telling you. Everybody mark my words. Somebody write this down. <laughs> exactly, gravity. And I've said that before. I've warned people. I warn people in my group, don't do it because no, don't do it. Don't, don't ever, ever, ever do it. You will get sick. Exactly. And that's going to happen. Hi, Abel. Welcome. Welcome, sweetheart. Exactly. Evil strawberry. Exactly. So that's what's happening is it's now the higher milligrams because people want to be fun and they want the, they want that Nick high or whatever. They're making themselves sick. That's not what it was meant for. That's not what it was meant for. He talked so much shit, Jack. He talked out of his ass. And I actually wrote that on Twitter. I was, I, I'm telling you guys, I wasn't acting crazy, but I said, yes, that somebody is talking out of his ass. <laughs> right, Bonnie? <laughs> but, you know, it's just, it's, it's, all this could be rectified. It's so easy. Go find out how the UK is doing it. They're putting freaking shops in hospitals. Excuse me. How are they doing it? How are they doing it? And we can't figure it out. And we're supposed to be the greatest freaking country in the world. Get out of here. Yeah, very, very much so, Darnell. Honestly, um, D Burns, they make some e-liquids that already have that in that. That's what I would recommend. Um, I personally would not mix anything with e-liquid at all. E-liquid is e-liquid. And just buy the ones that are automatically that with e-liquid. CBD oil is not safe. No, do not use CBD oil in a vape. It's an oil, which is what's killing people, the oil. They were using vitamin E oil. Oil is not a soluble. You cannot use oil in one of these.
you will get lung disease or worse. Yes, 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 they do have socialized medicine. If I could afford to, Michelle. <laughs> exactly, Nicole, it's too much, too much. They're doing too much. Yeah, exactly, Bonnie. Yeah, but I don't suggest it. Not, not in my chat. I'm not going to suggest mixing any of that. If you're going to do the Charlie Bravo Delta, which by the way, I cannot say that because my channel actually got taken away by using those um, initials. Um, if you use Charlie Bravo Delta, there are ones out there that are an e-liquid and they work just as well. For one is going to be um, hemp bombs. That was like my number one favorite. They have so many different flavors that are really, really flavorful. Right now, Gorilla Labs is making some too, which is, I can't really show it for too long. It's going to be like a flash show. Where is my, they're making some, I have to, I have to put my finger over the initials. But Gorilla Labs is making some too. Just go to, I think it's gorillalabs.com or you can just Google the Gorilla Labs Charlie Bravo Delta. You can actually get this. That's good as well. There are some already that are in e-liquid. They're meant to be vaped. Use those. Do not mix what you want. Do not mix what people say. Don't take anybody's word for it. Just look into those. Yeah, you can do, like I said, they have e-liquids that have it already in it. Use that. Don't mix your own. Yes, that's the one I reviewed on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, D Burns, look me up on Instagram. If you go to my um, Instagram TV, I actually have a review for that one. That Valerie, they are amazing. That coffee is to die for. I like the coffee. I like the marshmallow. And there was another one. I think it was the strawberry milk. Really, really good. You're very, very welcome, Dee. No, don't, d I'm, not, I'm not advocating dabbing as well. Dabbing, I do not agree with as well. No, 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 no. Yes, Kim, they are amazing, amazing. The cookie is good. They've got a watermelon. They've got, the, I, I reviewed all of them, but my videos got taken down when they took down my channel. So absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And they have higher milligrams of the Charlie Bravo Delta. If you take the first initial of each word I'm saying, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, yeah, dabbing, don't do dabbing. Ah, uh, thank you, Jeremy. Welcome, sweetheart. Eat and be safe. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Just stay away from all that crap. Just stay away from it. I don't want any of you guys getting sick doing something that is not supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, whenever you're using, whenever you're talking about that stuff, please use Charlie Bravo Delta. Do not put the three initials in my chat because they do take down channels for that. Please don't. I know there's channels out there that, that, ha that do reviews on it. My channel was literally taken down and they threatened not to give it back because of that. Yes, Vapor DNA is very reliable. Oh, I've got flour. I, I, where's my flour? I use the flour. I have this one's my favorite, the Hawaiian haze. Definitely my favorite. This I use and it works better than any e-liquid. And that one I actually have on my Instagram TV as well. And that's from um Hemporium, um, Med Hemporium. Absolutely amazing. Prices are absolutely amazing as well. You leave, I just 21,700. You're not supposed to be charging your battery in your device. You really need an external charger. 
Whenever you have a device that has external batteries, batteries that come out, do not charge them in the device. You're gonna actually damage your battery and or your device. Never ever do that. Always purchase, a, and you can get them really inexpensive. Go on to, um, you can go to Amazon sometimes and just put in 21700 battery charger. Um, you can go to, what's the battery name? The place where I get my batteries, where is that? Um, they, they, somebody will put it in chat. Go to those places and they have battery chargers. I think Brad's Vapor has battery chargers as well. Um, just look up bradsvapor.com, when he vapes 10 for 10% if he has them. Um, Aha, uh -huh. thank you so much, Mary. That is awesome. Congratulations. Keep up the good good work, honey. Um, yeah, Galisi has a four bay battery charger and it fits all batteries. 21700, 2700, 18650s, the 26650s. It holds everything. I've actually got two of the Galisi battery chargers. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to remember. And I can't remember. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, what's the name of it? And I didn't have a battery around me. Yep, the Galisi battery chargers. Okay, Becky. I mean, Becca. I'm trying to read while I'm saying your name. Aw, thank you. Love you. Element Vape is good. Yes. Um, eight vape is good. I think I only ordered once from them. Ah, <laughs> you're so great, Valerie. So yeah, you definitely want to do that on any videos that I actually do that have external batteries. I always say the same thing. Use an external charger. Do not charge it within it. The only time I would do it is if, if you're in a pinch, like you're out and you have no other option, then charge it, but do not charge it on a regular basis. Oh, that's awesome, Mel. Oh, really? My Freedom Smokes? Check them out, too. Oh, uh, I built on your first... You did? That's awesome, Queen C. Oh, you did? <laughs> Every week, copy that. <laughs> Vapor DNA, myvpro.com is usually my go-to. Um, they've got a couple other ones as well. Honestly, I've got a mixture of batteries. I've got Galisi batteries. I've got my VTC sixes. I've got um, the Samsung 25Rs. I've got my um, my 40Ts. I've got my 30Ts. I've got so many. It's different ones, but I just keep them paired up. So. EFS I've never tried, um, so I, I don't know anything about that one, but let me see. Snack you in there. <laughs> really, Jack? That is so fun. That's awesome, Queen C. The biggest, the biggest part about, about it is, is making sure that your coils are um, heating up equally. That is super, super important. Making sure they're not touching anything, another very, very important part. Vape saw, I don't think I've used. IMR batteries is a good place. Yes, that's where I get a lot of my batteries from. Yes, Samsung's 25Rs. Um, yeah, Samsung's are a good char a good good one. It's dual bay and they call it until okay, yeah, you can get the dual bay. I've got actually one, two, three, four bays. <laughs> I have that many batteries. I have that many devices, and yes, I do use them. <laughs> That is awesome, Queen. Lipos, I love my lipos. Of course I love my lipos. What? Yes. That's why I need flavors for my lipos. <laughs> IMR batteries is definitely reputable. Yes, the battery on it is very, very good, Queen C. I'm charging mine right now. Honestly.
honestly, Skippy, I kind of like my Samsungs and and Sony's better only because the wraps tear really easy on the Galisi batteries. That's one thing I've noticed. I've actually got like three batteries I need to rewrap from Galisi. The batteries are awesome. You just have to, you're just going to have to rewrap them if you rip them. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. Yeah, right, Ricky? <laughs> Gotta have it. I see you are continuing using that. Using what? Oh, this one? Yes, I love it. I really do. I really love it. I've been using this for a couple weeks, but I couldn't show it until I did my review. I had to do my testing, but I have my profile on it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I am our batteries. And sometimes they have, isn't it when you buy, like, I think you buy four batteries and they send you a free case, if I'm not mistaken. It's something like that. Somebody in chat can, you know, make sure about that. But yeah, definitely. Hi, Patrick Smith. How are you, sweetie? Larissa, how are you doing? Um, I, honestly, um, the Aquitas was not my favorite. And Larissa, if you're going for your first RDA, I would not get a bottom airflow one. If I'm not mistaken, that one has bottom and side. Um, I probably, if you if you want one for squonking, definitely recommend the Profile RDA. The um, the um, oh my God, what is it? The one that Mike's Mike's. What is Mike's? Um, oh my God, I can't think of anything. The Recurve, the Recurve Dual. Um, those, um, the point blank RDA. Awesome. Where's my point blank? Where is my point blank? Oh, I had to take it off of there because I was testing something. My point blank RDA. Absolutely love that one. Here it is. Here's my point blank RDA. Love, love, love this on a squonk. It's on a squonk. It's on a squonk. This one, love, love, love. Um, very, very easy. The re I would definitely start with the recurve or the recurve dual, probably just the recurve. Um, that is it the recurve or the re no, it's the recurve. Start with that one. It's really, really good. No, I don't, Demlin. I need to get some though. I don't think I have a battery in this one. I think I was charging it. Yeah, I was charging it. I have a battery though. This one is amazing. <gasps> the cookies and cream. Did you try it yet, Queen? Oh my God, really, really good. Now it is a coil killer. It's gonna gunk up your cotton really, really quick within a few days, but yeah, it's really, really good. Love. And it's so pretty, it matches anything. So I really like it. This one has top airflow. So you're not gonna get any leaking either if you over squonk. So I definitely recommend something like that. I love cooking cookies and cream. I really do. Where is my lucky thing? The drop is a I don't like the drop for squonking. The drop, the dead rabbit, the Drop dead. I don't like those for squonking, especially not for a new person squonking, only because they have to know exactly how much cotton to have running down from the coils. There's a lot of cotton involved in there. They're going to get dry hits a lot faster. So for a new vapor, I would not recommend those. I would recommend something like what you can't find it anymore, the Nudge 22, the Recurve, the Recurve Dual, um, the point blank RDA definitely because it's got the top airflow. So you definitely can't over squonk things like that. But for the, for new, for new vapors or new builders that want to squonk, I would not recommend those. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is Skippy, but I've got both, you know? Yeah. The recurve, I, I definitely think the recurve is really great for a new beginner. That one or even this one, because it is a single coil as well.
Um, definitely. I don't know if he wants like a regular device. Now, my one of my I've got a couple favorites. I've got I've got my Modi, which I really, really like my Modi. My Modi is really, really nice. This is good for somebody just quitting cigarettes. So it's got more of a cigarette feel to it. You've also got, which is the Modi vape. You can go ahead and anything that I, that I reviewed, you can just go to your search bar, type in the item and then put Wendy afterward and my review will come up. It's the easiest way to find it. Then you've got the Caliburn. This is another good device for, for people just quitting and getting off the of cigarettes. Both of them have internal batteries. You charge them and you go. This is another one. This one, I can never remember the name of it. Padini, I think it is, or something like that. This one is another good one. This one, I have my smoothie in. A lot of people like the Caliburn, but honestly, like there are a lot of other devices. This one here, I just reviewed recently. This one is actually a single 18650 battery one. So this one, you can actually change out the batteries. You don't have to wait for it to charge. It holds three mils of e-liquid. This is another good device. This one is just, I just reviewed this one. You can turn down the airflow so it'll make it more of a restrictive draw or a loose draw. So this is really good as well. Yum, I have my freaking key lime pie in here. It's so good. Exactly, exactly, Joshua. Thank you so much. And welcome, by the way. <laughs> oh my God, the RPM, I absolutely love. The RPM, you can also get additional coils that are higher resistance. The higher the number, the higher resistance, the more tight of a draw you're gonna have. So you can do that. They've got like six different types of coils out there about that. So you can get on that as well. Uh, knocks out, really? All oh, this time you missed so many conversations. Not really. These look, they're in my drawer and they're not flooding. These are these I keep in my drawer because when I'm in here, I'm usually using them, especially during reviews. So no flooding. Yeah, you can do that, but I just I recommend single coil RDAs for first timers. It's just the way, you know, the, the means to an end. Yeah. Um, hi John, how are you? I have for my mods is the batteries I have for my mods are starting to get worn out on wraps. Um, you can either buy the wraps and just rewrap them, which there are a couple videos out there. I meant to do a video and I just never got a chance to do it, but that you can rewrap them or you can just go to IMR batteries. You can get them the Samsung uh, 25R, the Sony VTC sixes or VTC fives are good. Um, what else is good, guys? Um, thank you so much for asking, John. I'm doing pretty well now that I have you guys here. So glad to have you here, Joshua. 30 cues I haven't used, but I use those are for the bigger batteries for like the 21700s. I get either the, um, I think it's Sony. I want to say it's Sony, either the 40T or the 30T. Those are the ones that I get. Um, what you can do is you can actually go either here on YouTube or on Instagram. Um, it's um, Battery Mooch, M-O-O-C-H. He's actually our battery guru. He tests all batteries for vape devices. He's got the best information. He will tell you what the ratings on the batteries are. He'll tell you if they're good, if they're not. He tells you about that. So definitely check him out. Um, and again, Battery Mooch, and he's on YouTube and Instagram. It's not oil, it's an e-liquid, um, but you can tell because you'll get like a lot of spit back in your mouth. Um, it'll feel, you'll get liquid in your mouth. You can tell that it's got too much then. Mooch is the man, yep.
Yeah, if you get juice in your mouth, you've got too much. Or if it's coming out the sides. <laughs> and we've all had it happen, so you wouldn't be the first. Oh, you can do that too. Yes, Ricky. Yeah. Oh my God, Chris. I love my steam crepe products. I still have it. Yeah. Actually, I've got new steam crepe products that are coming up for review too. So keep an eye on that. That's good, Queen. If you have not tried... The sweet butter biscuit, it is to die for. I need more. I need, I, as a matter of fact, I gotta tell Roger. Oh my God, sweet butter biscuit is like my absolute total favorite from Tasty Waves. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, this these are from Big Mike's Box Mods. These are custom made. I actually provided the design for this one. So that, this has a LiPo battery. And then I have this one as well. This is the HD color. Um, both of them are lipo. This is a DNA 250C. This is a DNA 250. It is, right, Queen C? Oh, my God, it is so good. Yes, I have um, the glass. I've got the Titan. I've got the aroma. I've got three Aromamizer Pluses. I've got the Light. I've got the RDA. I've got all the Steam Crave products. Uh, thank you, Queen. Steam Crave, I'm telling you, I've been using my original Aromamizer Plus for almost three years. And I have two extra ones now. I love my Steam Crave. And now they have bubble glasses that you can, and they've also got a single coil deck that you can purchase separately. I mean, you can make it yours. And right now they're actually doing away with the Aromamizer Plus. They've actually got like an end of life sale going on where they're half price. Um, right now on shop.steamcrave.com. What? Titan's awesome, Chris. Yep, it's still on sale. They've actually got the one that comes with everything. It's got like a 20 mil glass, the 10 mil glass, and the 5 mil glass. Or you could just buy the one with the 10 mil glass, which is the one that I recommend, which is on the last page of the Romoizer Plus when you're scrolling. Go to the last page and they've got them there. The only thing is, is that they only have them in silver. Got them all in black. I love the silver, so it doesn't bother me. I have two silvers and a blue. Hi, Patty. Welcome, sweetheart. I'm telling you, Chris, their products are amazing. I'm talking about longevity forever. I'm telling you. I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this, I've had the original one for almost three years and I have not stopped using it. The Aromamizer Light is good, but it's very restrictive. I like airy vapes. So for me, I have an airy vape. I absolutely love it. I have three steam craves or three Aromalizer Plus. Yeah, whenever you have flooding issues in any of your pods, this is just a suggestion for you guys. Say for instance, I haven't used this, which I did use this earlier today, which is why it's right in front of me. Say that I'm using this and it does get flooded. Just go like this and then vape it. It'll take it out. The OG Aromamizer, I didn't like. I didn't like the, I think it was a Supreme. I didn't like that one. It was too small. The 30 mil has been the one that I started with. That's the one that I love. I did try out the Supreme. I, I just didn't like it. I haven't tried the Aquamaster, I can't tell you. The, the um, gear is definitely an amazing RTA. It's just that it doesn't have enough juice capacity for me. Uh, 
Awesome, Chris. I'm telling you, love my romanizer. Ricky has like 10. 10 gears, I swear to you. I have not seen it, Alaska, so I probably won't even get it. I don't even know who it's made by. Hi, Hope. <laughs> I wouldn't go to mech mods when you have to go underground because they're going to be selling devices um, mech mods are really for those that are really experienced builders. Um, I would probably learn about Ohm's law and building safety first, and then think about um, mech mods. Mech mods run, the power is running straight from the battery. There are no protections. So you have to be really, really careful. If you were to go out somewhere, I would not suggest putting it in your pocket, in a purse or anything like that. Always take your battery out of it. There are so many different um, things to mech mods, I would not just tell you to go out and get it just because. Yeah, uh, definitely. They're not for newer vapors. They're definitely not for anybody that does not know about Ohm's law and build safety and battery safety and all that. Yeah, they're, they're very, they can be very scary. If you don't know what you're doing, they can blow up. Yeah, you have to build for voltage and not for your, because it's running directly off of the battery. Yeah, so you definitely want to stay away from them unless you know what you're doing. Um, really, not necessarily mech mods. You really know need to know about Ohm's Law and building. As long as you know about those, mech mods are pretty much, I've actually reviewed mech mods. I've shown them. Um, pretty much that's what we do is we review them. I have quite a few on my own channel. Um, but definitely you're going to need to know Ohm's Law and battery safety. Hi, Chevy. Hi, Kristen. Yeah, you can blow your teeth out too. You have to go to battery mooch for battery safety. And then there are so many things um, out there on YouTube for Ohm's Law. And that's basically what you need to know. That and the fact that you have to use perfect batteries. They can't have a rip, a scuff, a a clip, a chip, nothing in your battery. Um, they have to be in pristine condition. And you literally cannot just put it in your pocket like you can a regular um, device. So you definitely want to take out your batteries. You don't leave them just sitting with batteries in them. Yeah, you just want to be careful with that. Yeah, jo Joshua Battery Mooch has some out there as well. Hi, Raven. Of course, of course, Raven, definitely. You're welcome. It's just, it's a really, really, it's, it's, let me tell you something, for the longest time, I wouldn't use the mech mod due to that fear because, and I knew how to build. I had been building for years and it took me a while, but then I got into them. I do like them. I don't like them as a regular every single day vape, but that's just me. Um, but you know, to go out and stuff like that. Usually I'll take them with me. Like if I'm going to like a vape convention, but mostly I, I use them indoors. I don't take them out. I actually have a whole bunch right in front of me because I vape on them. I've got this one. I've got, where's my other one? Oh, I've got my favorite dreamer. I've got my, um, oh my God, what's this one called? I forgot now. Um, the Keen, I've got that one. I've got, I even have this one, which is really, really nice, except for this one has even less safeties because it's all copper on the inside with no safety um, seal on the inside. I've got my Arclis right here. So I've got quite a few. Good night, Jack. 
Uh, love you too, Jack. Have a good one. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it for everybody. I really, really, really wouldn't. Um, just because it's just, it's, there's so many things that can go wrong and you're by yourself when you're with them. So yeah. Yeah, the foosh is fine because it's actually, um, re it's partially regulated. I have two fooshes. I've got my black one and I've got my stainless one. I've got two. But these are partially regulated. These will literally shut off when the battery is not on. It'll, if your build is too low, it'll shut off. It'll shut off if, it, if it's a short on it. You know, it's got safeties built into it. The Soul Keeper is also another one that, that is partially regulated. Yeah, exactly, Alaska. So you definitely want to be careful with that. Exactly, definitely, Skippy. Right, Jeannie? <laughs> I mean, it's not necessary. There's so many devices out there that it's really not necessary. There's going to be devices out there. Um, really, right now, they're going to try to ban flavors because if you're not using flavors, then you're probably not going to vape is, I think, where they're going right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, Morris. Oh, and I've also got my unicorn one. My unicorn one? Where's my unicorn one? My unicorn one. Oh, I was vaping it out there. That's where it is. It's actually out next to the couch because I didn't bring it in. I meant to, but I didn't. Oh my God, Skippy, you're not lying. Steam Crate products are absolutely amazing. Look at this. I've been charging this since we've been here and it's already 80% charged. 80% done. Yep. I love it too. I really, I yeah, I left that one out there. I meant to bring it in. That's what I'm looking for because I thought I brought it in, but it's still out there by the couch. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hi, Mystic Merlin. Yes, you made it. Oh, my goodness, finally. <laughs> Yeah, and you never want to use a sub home tank on them. Definitely, definitely, Raven. Thank you. I know there was one more thing I wanted to touch on, but definitely don't. Personally, and this is my personal opinion, there's only been one RTA I've ever used on a mech mod. Only one. Otherwise, I only use RDAs on it. I don't use even RTAs on it. That's just me, though. That's just me. I like them for RDAs, not for RTAs. The unicorn, it's um by um, oh my god, 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 what is it called? Oh. Alaska yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Unicorn vapes is wrong. Thank you. Oh my God. Anybody else name it? It's Alaska something. Oh my 
my God, what is it? There you go. Okay. Yes, please. Unicorn Vapes Ink. But there's another one. There's Alaska. Oh my God, what was it? Alaska. Oh my God, I forgot that. Any of my reviews, my unicorn um, review, it, I say it at the end. I think I actually put it on the screen. Hi, Samantha. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think I missed somebody. You know what? What do I? I actually like PWM mods, um, and I like just variable voltage mods. That's why I'm using this one still. I actually have quite a few of them. I have. Um, I've got the Hammer of God. I've got the PWM by Steam Crave. I've got this one. I've got another variable voltage one. I've got. I've got quite a few variable voltage. But yeah, I like them. But again, you need to know Ohm's law and battery safety for them. Oh my God, it's, oh, I'm already late. Okay, so no, like I said, Skippy, some people have, I choose not to. I choose not to. I've only used one on it, but I don't, I don't regularly use an RTA on a mech mod. That's just my personal thing. I just don't do it. Because depending, like if you have like a single coil RTA and you're putting it on a mech mod, you're going to blow it out because it's going to be too much power depending on your battery for the, the, um, the vape for the RTA. So that's why I just don't do it. What tank is what? This one? Hi, Liz. Oh, this one, I have the Profile Unity RTA on it. But I have this one turned down low because you can burn it out because it's a mesh coil. You can burn it out. So I do have this on low. By the way, welcome, Night Owl. Did I miss anybody else? Teresa, there you are, sweetheart. How you doing, sweetheart? <coughs> Let's see how many people we have. Well, we've got 78 watching. That's awesome. Um, okay, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually doing a giveaway and the giveaway is from Brad's Vapor, of course, since he is the one that sponsors my Monday night live streams. And he's gonna be giving away a smoke or smoke RPM 40 mod just or kit just like this. So if you haven't checked out my review and you're interested in it, please go ahead and check it out. All you need to do in the search page of YouTube, just put in RPM Wendy and you'll be able to find it. I'm gonna give you the number ranges right now. And once I say start, then you can go ahead and start. Don't start yet. You don't even know what the range is. Don't start, because you're gonna lose. Wait until I say start. Hi, Alpha. Welcome, sweetie. Okay, so what the range is gonna be, the range is gonna be between the number one and 80. And you're gonna go ahead and pick a number one time, not multiple times, just one number one time. It is for US only. And the first one that gets the number that I've already written down or the first one closest to that number is actually going to be the person that gets it. Again, this is for U.S. only because we only do ship through in the United States. So go ahead and do that. And then again, the first one that gets it, if, the, if there isn't the first one that gets it, then it's the first one closest to it. And the number range again is between one and 80. It's water, water, ice water. All 
Absolutely amazing device. I'm actually getting more coils from Brad. And my coils are still lasting. I don't need them yet, but I really want them just in case. <laughs> And I think I've been using this now almost over three weeks. So it's been maybe almost four. Really, really good. Hi, Gloria. How you doing, sweetie? Right here. Yes, that's a lip ring. Sure is that guy. Disney on wheels. Welcome, welcome. Amen. Welcome, welcome. Melissa Kenny. Okay, I'm going to start counting down from 10. <laughs> I have the lip ring and then I have a tongue ring. Those are the rings that I have. But um, I'm going to count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I know, Patty, 5, 4, 3, 2, one so stop um actually it lasts you have to be careful with it you definitely want to check it because i did almost fry out my coil because i was just i was literally like i didn't even realize i was like and i i vaped the shit out of it <laughs> but oh my god all right my number is 39 so the first one that got 39 if nobody got 39 the first one closest to 39 gets it so let's go ahead and find out where I put start. Where's my start? Where's my start? There it is. Okay, so looking for 39, looking for 39, 39. Carolyn's number is so close. <laughs> looking for 39. I cannot believe not one person got 39. Okay, so nobody got 39 so let's go back up and pick the first one closest find the start again oh my eyes just got blurry for a second do, 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 do. where am i where am i where's my start oh where's my start okay there's my start so let's look for 40 or 39 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 Wait, 40 or 38? 40 or 38. Hold on. <clears throat> Got to go back up. So the first one to get closest to it was Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, you are the winner of tonight's giveaway. Does everybody agree? Let's see. Uh, le, le, le. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. It's the first one to get closest to it, so it's going to be Ricky. Yeah, Ricky Martin, you are the winner. Yay! Ooh, ooh, raise the roof. <laughs> All right. So, Ricky, you won. So, just go ahead and send me an instant message with your information, and I'll pass that over to Brad along with your email address. So, woohoo! That was fun. <laughs> it's the first one to get it, Michelle. The first one to get closest to it. So, that would be Ricky. Yay. All right. Yes. Yeah, I know, Carolyn, you are so close this time. It's crazy. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, before I leave, I want to remind everybody, please, 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 if you are not registered to vote, please go ahead and register to vote because we are vaping. We're, we're voting to say vaping. We're trying to get rid of these flavor bans. So as much advocacy as you can do when you're advocating, please make sure that you're not acting all crazy. Don't be cursing people out. Don't be mean. You can't be mean. Hi, Lisa. You can't be mean. Please, please, please do it with class because you have to remember that the way that you come across is the way that they're going to think all vapors are and they're not going to take you seriously. So we want to make sure that we're doing it the right way. You can state your opinions, you can state your feelings, you can state anything you want. Just do it in a really, really nice way, making sure that you're not, you know, acting crazy, if you know what I mean. So 
Oh, I forgot I didn't eat tonight. Excuse me. So I just want to make sure that you guys all know you get your water. So thank you so much for everybody being here. Continue to fight. I'm going to continue to fight. Please make those calls. Um, make sure that you're calling the White House. Make sure that you're calling your um, your people. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? But make sure that you're calling them all. Please, please, please continue to advocate. Don't forget to advocate to people that are not smoking or vaping as well, but do it in a nice way. You want to make sure that you're trying, we want to get them on our side as well. I want them to see that, hey, this is a good thing for us. It's not bad because we all have those friends that are totally saying that we're going to die from vaping. So please make sure that you are advocating correctly. Post all the facts. Keep posting facts. Facts are what's going to win out. Again, I'm on Twitter all day long. I'm, I'm completely advocating everywhere that I can. Please continue to fight. It's not just for you or me. It's for all of us. Um, but make sure that you just keep it clean. And I love each and every one of you. I can't wait to see you next Monday. And thank you so much for being here and listening to me spiel on about this. But it's really, really important. Right now, they're looking at Florida. I think they're also, they were going to look at Ohio, and I think they got pushed away. Um, but yeah, so there's, it's, please, please, if you can. Um, because the, the shipping cost from here to Canada, Larissa, is anywhere from $30 to $45, which is, of course, over the cost of the devices, which is why we can't do it outside the U.S. because of the shipping cost. But I do apologize for that. That's okay. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. That's it. That's all you can do, Lisa. Just keep trying. Everybody, please, please keep trying. Fight the fight. Be nice about it. Um, be firm, but be nice. You know what I mean? You don't have to be crazy. I love each and every one of you. If you all want to reach me, you know that all my social media is down below. Love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the new vapors that came in tonight. And the people that have not been in the chat before, I want everybody to thank them for being here, for joining our chat. For coming and finding me and if you want to see me i'm um, make sure that you ring that bell make sure that you're subscribed don't forget to hit the uh thumbs up on your way out and i will see you next monday or in the next review so i love you bye